An American Pharaoh broke okay. He's on the outside of horses, and Dortmund is out even better. And Carpe Diem is there, and firing lines in the early mix, too. It's going to be Dortmund to set the pace here in the Kentucky Derby. Firing line on the outside is second. American Pharaoh is third to the outside of them. Carpe Diem is right there. Dancing Moon is close and running in between horses. And then Bolo, Mr. Z is after that, and then Ocho, 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 Tent Sender. Upstart is three wide as they move into the turn. He's eight lengths off the lead. Then the World Traveler. Mubtahi just down on the inside. It's a knockout is next. Materiality farther behind than we expected. And then comes Frosted. War Story. Keen Ice and Fermento near the back of the field. And the trailer is far right as they make their way to the back stretch. It is Dortmund in front. He went a half mile in an easy 47 and one fifth seconds. Dortmund, the leader up the back stretch. A half a length. And Gary Stevens has firing line right in second position. And American Pharaoh will be third up the back stretch. He's two and a half lengths off of his stablemate. Carpe Diem follows in fourth. Dancing Moon is fifth and he's five lengths off the lead. Then Bolo on the outside of Ocho. Ocho, Ocho. Move Tahij is seven lengths behind. And then it's Mr. Z. Upsart. Ten Sender is after that. And it's a knockout. And they're rounding the far turn. And Dortmund is the leader. He's on top by a half length. And Firing Line confronts him. An American Pharaoh has come under a ride as Firing Line takes the lead outside of Dortmund. Here comes American Pharaoh. And he sweeps up on the far outside. And they're into the stretch. And it's American Farrell who has taken the lead on the outside. In between horses, it's firing line. Dortmund is down at the rail as they come into the final furlong. American Farrell, firing line, not done yet. And these two come into the final 16th. It's American Farrell in front, firing line. Dortmund is third, Frosted is fourth. Coming to the finish, American Farrell and Victor Espinosa. Off of the roar of the Baltimore crowd for the 140th running of the Preakness. All seem to came away, come away okay, and it's American Pharaoh and Mr. Z. American Pharaoh and Victor Espinosa sending American Pharaoh right to the front. Mr. Z lapped alongside in second. Dortmund back in third position and chasing that pace as they push to the first turn. And then it's Bodhisattva one off the rail as they push into the first turn run. Divining Rod is next. Then it's back to firing line is to the rear of the field today. And Danzig Moon and Tail of Burb is the trailer. 22 and four fifths. Whipped through that opening quarter to American Pharaoh, who's opened up two and a half lengths now on Mr. Z. It's another three to Dortmund in third as they move past the six for a long mark. Then it's Divining Rod, who's about six lengths off of American Pharaoh. Firing line Bodhisattva is next, and Danzig Moon and Tail of Verb, 46 and two. Strong fractions by American Pharaoh, strolling through the slop here in Baltimore with a two length lead. Here comes Mr. Z back after him. Dortmund's getting closer on the far outside. Divining Rod is fourth, just three lengths from American Pharaoh into the far turn. The others have running to do. Tail of Verb is now past. Firing line has dropped back third last position with three furlongs left to go. American Pharaoh sent right to the front is still there from Dortmund on the outside is a length and a half behind. Divining Rod, Mr. Z is back and forth. A quarter to go at Pimlico, the six and one, 11 and two fifths of a second. And American Pharaoh turns for home with a lead. Now Divining Rod fully driven in second. Dortmund couldn't quicken in third. They're coming through the final furlong, and it's American Pharaoh and Victor Espinosa with a lead by six from Divining Rod. American Pharaoh, a true American phenom. American Pharaoh, phenomenal in the Preakness, led all the way. They're off in the Belmont Stakes. Not a great start for American Pharaoh, but he will be sent to the lead by Victor Espinosa. So he waits no longer right to the front for American Pharaoh in the race to the first turn. But he did not come out of the gate all that well. Frosted is away running in second position. Materiality is third to the outside. A ground saving run for Moob Tahij, who's right behind American Pharaoh into that first turn that made from Lucky. Keen Ice, Taylor Verve, and the trailer is from Ento. The opening quarter mile was 24 seconds flat. A sensible fraction for American Pharaoh, who leads the way on that sweeping first turn here at Belmont Park. 
And materiality is kept close by John Velasquez running in second position. Mubtahij, Frosted, and Keen Ice are right there. Keen Ice is not far behind at all. He's two lengths off the lead. And then it's made from Lucky. It's four lengths more back to Taylor Verve and Fermento of 48 and four half mile. So it continues to be a moderate tempo off the back stretch here. And it is American Pharaoh who leads the way by three quarters of a length. And materiality keeps the pressure on in second. Boob Tahij is third on the inside. And then comes Keen Ice in fourth. Frosted is fifth. Made from Lucky. Ridden along to keep up with the field. He's sixth. And he's four and a half lengths off of American Pharaoh. From Mento and Taylor Verver at the back of the pack. So, American Pharaoh is halfway home in the Belmont. Three quarters went in one thirteen and two fifth seconds. And he begins his run into the far turn. Three quarters of a length ahead of materiality in second. And then it's Keen Ice on the outside of Moub Tahiz. Frosted in traffic behind them. And then made from Lucky on the outside. Around the far turn. And American Pharaoh continues to lead the way. He's on top by three quarters of a length. Moub Tahiz is off the rail. And now he's a length behind in second. And American Pharaoh kicks away. American Pharaoh has opened up a two length lead as they come to the top of the stretch. And Frosted has moved up into second. And they're into the stretch. And American Pharaoh makes his run for glory as they come into the final furlong. Frosted is second with one eighth of a mile to go. American Pharaoh's got a two length lead. Frosted is all out at the 16th pole. And here it is. The 37-year wait is over. 